We got a call from an um, internet service provider in Costa Rica, an unusual internet service provider. They hosted gambling sites, internet sites. And apparently what had happened was uh, Russian hackers had uh, broken into their bunker. This would be akin to breaking into the Pentagon. These guys are really good. But the Russian hackers had broken in and they had encrypted five servers and they held them for ransom. We got this call on a Wednesday. What do we do? Well, um, the best we could offer at that point was a remote look. We're able to use the internet, go inside the servers and see what was going on. And yep, we confirmed they're encrypted. Our advice to them was send us the media. Well, this is a lab based service we offer and this problem was definitely lab worthy. But instead, they elected to pay the ransom, um, and on the Friday, they called us back. Apparently, they paid the ransom, and when the Russian hackers had decrypted, uh, uh, attempted to decrypt the machines, four of them came across okay, but the fifth server, the one that had 60 gigs of Visa card information, blew up. And what was interesting is that the Russian hackers spent about 12 hours working with the casino guys trying to solve the problem. I thought they'd just take the money and run, but they didn't. And they kind of messed things up a little more. And uh, on the Saturday, we were visited by one of the principals of the company himself, who hand-carried all the disk drives from that Visa card server, brought them to our lab. And I can tell you, he's the only man who's ever read every single word in our fine print. This was very important to him. And, um, and he didn't sleep very much, but he, either did we. 72 hours later, we learned that Exchange Databases, um, courtesy of Microsoft, actually arranged the data uh, with a serial number. So we wrote uh, programming, we did a little, what's called bespoke programming. We wrote a little program that stripped out all the records. Then we wrote another program that put them back together in the order we liked. The problem was when you encrypt something, you need space, a temp file big enough to encrypt. And the Russians didn't look and there wasn't enough space on the original drive. So when they started to encrypt, everything blew up, logic was lost, and it took our two little bespoke programs to put all the bits back together again, and uh, the casino guy got in the plane 72 hours later. Um, their loss was something in the neighborhood of $135,000 a day. Um, so it was important he get back to work.